East Harlem residents for the Movement for Justice in El Barrio have been protesting a recent housing plan put in play by Mayor de Blasio aimed to change Harlem. You might ask yourself, why protest? Isn't change in Harlem a good thing? Well, that's the thing. You have to ask, change for whom? The movement has been meeting and analyzing a plan since its inception, even though de Blasio has pushed for the plan as an affordable housing plan, it's termed better as a luxury housing plan. De Blasio defines affordable as an income between 46,620 and 62,150 for a family of three when the median family income in East Harlem for a family of four is 33,600. Even though 25 to 30% of all new resident development would be set aside for affordable housing units, the affordability of the plan isn't based on current Harlem residents' income. The rent of the remaining units, up to 75%, would be determined by their real estate developer's discretion, aka market rate. If that means it's gonna be high, extremely high, and will raise the general cost of living in the neighborhood. In other words, gentrification happens when wealthy developers and high-income people move into an urban neighborhood, making improvements which cause housing to be unaffordable for the current residents, and they tend to be forced out of their home. The organizers at the Movement for Justice in El Barrio are not amateurs. They know what they're doing. They have nurtured their communities by organizing and being actively informed. Now they are demanding to meet face-to-face -face with Mayor de Blasio because most of them are lifelong residents of El Barrio, and they have zoning ideas of their own. El Barrio está organizado. I have to get started going. Can you count me in again? 